see this entire bag of marbles from the dollar store? Well, it had one really big one. So let's see what a big marble does when we melt it in our microwave kiln. Hopefully this isn't coated clear. In that case, the coating will burn off and we'll just get a clear something. But I think most marbles are real dyed glass. So hopefully it'll maintain these red and yellow cool colors with a little bit of black. Let's find out. For those of you who don't know about microwave kilns, for $35 on Amazon, you can get this cute little guy and size of a softball and put him right in your microwave and you get the power of a $2,000 kiln concentrated in a tiny little area and you can heat stuff in just six to eight minutes that would normally take a day to do in a traditional kiln. And you just wait about two hours for it to cool down and voila. And you got to get this kiln paper to keep your glass from fusing to the kiln. But we've been making some really cool glass cabochons with this. And so let's see how this one turns out. I should mention I'm breaking up my old used kiln paper and making a little barrier here. So just in case after I put it in the kiln, if it decides to roll, it's not going to roll up against the side of the kiln because it'll fuse to the kiln and ruin it. So hopefully that will keep that little guy. If, if he does roll, he won't get too much further. We'll see. All right, we're gonna play around with some more glass fusing. This is a big orange sheet someone sent to me, but I'm just gonna use this as a tray to load onto the kiln. Uh, this is a piece of kiln paper. It was used a couple times, so you can see it's kind of gotten thin in the middle, but I, I find I can get five or six firings out of each one, and it's kind of expensive. So we're gonna use it again, and this is some other, now remember you have to make sure you, all your glass is the same COE coefficient of expansion because the glass expands and contracts in the kiln and you don't want to use mixed glass. You could be fine, but it could crack later on even if it fuses fine, like a, even a year later it could crack. So these are some really cool colors. Let's have some fun with this. That's a nice green. Let's just start out with that as the base. And then we'll Somebody else sent me these big giant pieces, and look at this one has all this little black stuff in here, like it smushed a whole bunch of bugs, or there was like some kind of dried vegetation that got got caught in there when the glass fused. But whatever, I think it's just little pieces of black glass mixed in the clear just to be cool. But in any case, we're gonna break off a piece of this and sandwich it in there. Um, I found, and people have told me, and I found it really works, use some regular white school glue, mixed half and half with water, and then you can get like a nice little paste that will glue the pieces of glass together so they don't fall over when you put them in the kiln, they stay put. And then that glue burns off as the heat rises in the glass. But by that time, the glass is already fusing. Cool, right? This is crazy reflective glass. Look at that. It makes like a holographic effect. So we're going to break off little tiny splinters of this and just sprinkle them around there because the effect is wild, but we don't want to just blast you with it. We want to kind of blend it in. So this, I've used little chunks before and they really stick out wild. Like, look at that one. See all those holographic pieces in there? So I'm gonna to try to use teeny tiny little pieces and try to sprinkle them around, see what happens. These nippers will crunch up the glass into little bits and I'm gonna hold it in a bin. I'm gonna wear goggles and gloves and stuff for protection. So, you know, be very careful with this stuff. And even afterwards, you gotta make sure you sweep up. You can find little splinters of glass everywhere. Get them in your hands, get them on the floor, get them in your feet, get them in, if your pets walk around or if you walk around barefoot, be real careful with this glass, okay? Okay. If, you, if you're unsure, if you have little shards somewhere, to like take a damp, after, well, sweeping on the floor, but after you sweep and sweep, take a damp paper towel and just wipe across the surface. And that might pick up any extra, almost microscopic pieces that you don't see, but you will feel them. putting a little bit of glue all over the surface. And then we're gonna put down our piece of this. Get some little tweezers or pliers to pick up the shards. Don't try to pick them up with your fingers. And 
Now I'm going to mix little sprinkles of blue, clear blue, in between. Okay, that looks like a crystally delight, doesn't it? We're going to drip a little more uh, watery glue on top just to make sure the pieces don't shift when we try to move them into the kiln. Get in there. Looks like from a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Magical crystals. They will save us all. And they will stop Superman. Or something. Alright, let's see how our marble turned out. Oh yeah, it's perfect. How hot is it? It's warm. Yeah, it's hot, but I'm going to cover it back up and let it finish cooling. It didn't seem to roll, which is good, and it's the perfect cabochon shape, and it held on to its cool yellow and black and red pattern. All right, let it cool for a little bit, and then we'll put in our new crystalline delight. There we go. Let's see how this one turns out. This microwave only goes up to six minutes, so we gotta do six and then eight. I mean six and then two to get eight minutes. Please don't forget to subscribe now. Thanks. Skibby dibby dibba ba 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 da ba. Alright, let's see. Still hot. Not too hot to touch, which means it's safe to take it out, but we're not gonna open it yet because. You want to let this thing really cool down. It hasn't been a whole two hours. It's been about an hour, a little over an hour. So we'll let it, it'll cool a little faster by taking it out, but not too fast. If the glass cools too fast, it'll crack. Okay? Okay, it should be good now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, it mostly got green. Look, one little piece of blue, like, rolled off and turned into a little, almost a total ball, like a little sphere. That's cool. The, um, what's it called? You see a tiny bit of the, I almost said hieroglyphic, uh, the shimmery stuff right on the edge there, but it's mostly, mostly the green dominated, which is expected because there, there really was so much more green. The blue definitely came out in different places. It didn't hold on to the shape of the rectangle, kind of bowed out, and it has a tiny little sharp end right on the corner there that I'm going to have to, a couple little sharp ends I'm going to have to grind off. But overall, I think it'll be a cool piece to make into a necklace. So I'm happy and we're going to keep experimenting. Yay!